Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Glamour Magazine Editor-in-Chief Cindy Levy and actress and activist Olivia Wilde. Welcome everyone to the 24th Annual Courage in Journalism Awards. This is the evening when we gather together to honor some of the bravest people in the world, women who risk their lives day after day to bring us the news. I was so honored to be asked to help host the IWMF Courage Awards because as a child of journalists, I often think about how thankless it is as a profession. And I have so much respect for journalists and specifically for women in the field because of how difficult it is for them to not only earn respect amongst their own peers but also to operate as effective journalists um, uh, on the ground. And I think this is a wonderful gesture because we're not only going to educate people about these incredible honorees and about what they've been working on, but we're going to tell them that we appreciate their work and we're raising money to help protect them. So everything about this uh, event was extraordinary to me and I, I was really excited to be a part of it. I am so honored to be with you here tonight as I've had quite a unique insight into the heroism of the profession of journalism. My mother, Leslie Coburn, has been an investigative journalist for over 35 years. She spent her life traveling into officially off-limits territories to break major stories on the Contra War, U.S. support of the Arab Mujahideen uh, in, during the Russian war in Afghanistan, the American covert operation that nearly brought the murderous Khmer Rouge back to power in Cambodia, the Colombian cocaine cartels, and the devastating effects of sanctions on Iraq. All this while raising three children with my father, who's also a journalist. She was often criticized for working in such dangerous places while raising a family, and yet I never felt anything but proud. My mother was working to help people. That's all I needed to know. What many people don't think about when they uh, consider the harrowing work of female journalists in the field is the fact that they may also be mothers, that they're also carrying with them the responsibilities of their families in a way that men really aren't asked to do. So when my mother was traveling all around the world when I was young and my siblings were young and she was criticized for working in dangerous places, I was really proud of her. And I think that that made me connect to this event and to these women and to want to recognize them not only for being incredibly badass journalists but also for being women and, and recognizing that that does add an extra element of challenge. I, I hope this event helps people recognize that and certainly the work of the IWMF does that. It is inconceivable that almost half of the world's population lives in countries where there is no freedom of the press. Places where simply calling yourself a journalist can be life-threatening. People don't realize what a journalist has to do to even get to the place where they can conduct an interview and what kind of dangerous situations they put themselves in to cross borders, to, uh, to enter off-limit zones, to be around certain types of very corrupt people, to have their name in print as outing in very, very corrupt people, maybe from their own government. Um, that's a risk that they take. Journalism can often be a thankless task. Many are never recognized for their heroism, and accolades, of course, are never their goal. They aren't quite as prone to self-congratulation as we are in Hollywood. But tonight, please allow us to pay tribute to four courageous journalists who stand out amongst their peers for their commitment to freedom of expression and for their sacrifices in the name of speaking truth to power. I think it is nearly impossible to have a completely objective opinion about anything. I think by picking up a pen or by turning a camera on, you are taking a perspective on something. It's necessary. So I think spending time criticizing journalists for maybe having an opinion here and there is taking away the focus from what I think should be celebrated on, celebrated about them, which is this, in, in, oh, this insane kind of bravery that it takes to put yourself out there just so people back home and around the world can understand what's going on. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. You can continue to follow these incredible women at IWMF.org or by following the IWMF on Twitter. It has been a privilege to host you. And we hope to see you all next year for the 25th anniversary of the IWMF and the Courage in Journalism Awards. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>